Hello. Um, I'm just going to take the dogs for a quick sniff around the garden and I just want to show you what I'm wearing today because first of all it's really cold and um, I've got my snake protection boots on today because I think we saw a snake yesterday. So that's what I'm wearing. This is really glamorous. Here's the little whippets and we're off for a, we're off for a little sniff around the garden and today Sam's going to get his um, stitches taken out. So that'll be a fun day so come with us. We'll have a look. So off we go, we can take them all. Sam can't have his um, rough wear harness on yet, which is the one that Gizmo's got on because of the stitches. And um, he's been wearing his collar every day, all day, he's been so good, just protect him. So we can't put his harness on because it'll rub on his belly. So there he is. Now they're gonna have a sniff around. It's a very um, foggy morning. And we're just gonna have a quick sniff around, see what's about, like I said, there's the snake protection boots, <laughs> just in case. All right, let's go. No pulling. And then you know what? The difference with those that harness compared to the um, collar that Sam wears, Sam really does pull. Oh, I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm filming because my wing while I'm talking. Sam. So when he doesn't wear that the harness, which is what Max has got on, he um. He does pull a lot more, so really, really does make a difference. And I'll show you, I'll link a video up that you can watch of these harnesses when I get them and what I think about them. So yeah, all right, let's go for a sniff. So I was clearing a bit of land around here yesterday where we were and there was an old tree and yeah there was a snake somewhere it's very misty somewhere in a tree stump over there so it got away it got away but we were like very cautious with it so I think I'll just be careful just in case let's see if the dogs can smell anything yeah we did a lot of clearing look at all that it looks good the dogs just the thing is the dogs know this area so well and then suddenly when we've cleared a bit it's like a whole new world to them they think oh what's new what's new it's all changed so yeah I'll take you around the side of the cabin come around this way
wombats have been digging. I'm going to go in there. I shall show you another one. I'm going to see if there's any wombats. This one here is a lot bigger. <laughs> this one here. I'll take the camera in. I'll show you. I've done this before, but I couldn't find anything. So you're going to be upside down for a sec. Anything in there? No. Ooh. <laughs> Are we looking at the wombats, dogs? Trees, or the moss, I don't know, whatever you call it. What is it, Giz? Time to go in. Another one back hole, see? They're everywhere. It's not very deep, that one. Right then, Sam. Okay. Now we're going to go and take Sam to the vet to get his stitches taken out. And then I'll either film him. I'll film him when we come home. I won't film him in the vets. But um, yeah, see how he recovers. So he's on the vets now. And Sam has been, um, had his stitches taken out. Oh, he's still going to go running. What's he doing now? See, look, he's, he's going to follow his way. Anyway, I wasn't allowed to go in there. They just took him in there on their own, on his own. And um, yeah, because the, uh, he had the two incisions, so it was a bigger operation than just a normal castration. And he's obviously happy now. Um, so they had to have a bigger scar. So that's why he had like two scars on him, bless him. Um, anyway, yeah, they took his stitches out. He's got a little bit of um, like a crusty bit where the stitches were. So just gonna have the um, collar on just for another day, just to really protect it. So overall, yes, it was an eventful day and he was such a good boy. We walked around the town, just one dog. It was nice for a change. <laughs> don't, don't tell the others. Um, yes, so he's recovered really well. So as you can see, there he is. The other two wondered where he was. In fact, they probably enjoyed not having him around like the baby brother and he's now back to D. So anyway, that's it for today. He's had a lovely day out and his stitches are gone. And um, yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.